Oh, Dr. House, how did you feel after curing Ian, taking on a case that seemed so impossible to solve? Just another puzzle that needed to be solved. Oh, really? But the patient had such unpredictable and seemingly unrelated symptoms. How could you possibly have known that Ernheim Chester was the culprit? Well, I did have a very similar case. Once. Oh, yes, Esther. A source described to us how you let Esther die on your watch. They also explained how you tried to diagnose Esther and several other patients. Is this true? What would I have to gain from diagnosing a dead patient? I simply drew similarities between the two cases where I saw Why do you believe that you distinctly remembered Esther from all those years ago when you take pride in your inattention to patients? My job is to diagnose patients and save lives. Esther is one of the very few cases I could never solve. And she was one of the very few patients I actually lost because of my inadequacy. Well, as you said, I began to see Esther's case everywhere. I needed it to exist so that I could solve it. I really, I just needed to solve that case so I could release the emotions I had pent up from losing so Esther. So is the reason that you were acting so irrationally, well, more than usual, of course, was that because Esther's case was essentially right in front of you and this could be your last chance to well, solve it? Well, yes, I suppose my unethical actions regarding Ian came as a result of me never dealing with Losing Esther. How do you think you could have coped with these emotions after Esther's passing? Well, my friends pushed me to go to therapy after Esther's passing because they knew something was wrong, but only spineless morons believe in that kind of garbage. So obviously I didn't go. All right. Well, it looks like we're out of time. Join us tomorrow when we look at how caterpillars are sometimes smarter than human beings. This is Tyler Joy signing off for ABC America. Bye-bye now. my mind.